little disappointed this morning. Stopped here at um, the gas station um, to get to fuel up and to grab a coffee. And they're still closed, they only open at 7, so no coffee on the road. <laughs> How sad is that? But anyway, guys, I'm on my way to Strauss Bar. It's really early in the morning still. Um, the day is just about to break, and I'm really excited um, to get this trip to started. It, I think it's going to be a great one. The weather has been really good. The southeast has been blowing um, quite hard. It's the fourth day of southeast today, so uh, when I get there, I'm just going to have a look at see look and see how the water looks maybe i'm going to start off by fishing for cob today because the wind is turning southwest tomorrow it might um, cool the water down quite um, substantially so i reckon before it gets too cold we're going to target some cob and see if we can't net a couple net a couple of mullets throw a couple of live baits and then target a couple of cob but yeah guys i'm super excited to get there and to start fishing so let's get the show on the road and let's get fishing. But there's nothing, eh? Cool Nautilus. Where is the strand? You have to get it in the water. I'm going to go to the water. I'm going to go to the water. Hello, Pierre. Hello. 
No. <laughs> you guys remember Pierre? He is with me here in um, Strasbourg. Finally had the chance to make a throw. There's Chris Thompson. He's joining us as well. I just want to get this camera down. And um, yeah, let's get the angle. Finally, I can make a throw. Walked about two kilometers to find um, live mullet. And um, eventually, I found two. What's going on today? I can't find the angles. But anyway, eventually, I found two, two live mullet. So, I'm gonna slide one out, and then I'm gonna throw one out, and then I'm gonna throw one or two chocolates for cop. Water doesn't look too bad. Temperature already a little bit cooler, than like I suspected. So what I'd like to see from this tip is a massive black ray and big raggy or two but that's the worry of tomorrow, tomorrow we will throw some non edible, today we're going to try a hunt and um, no, thank you, so that will take us, hopefully we see him baking this week as well and um, yeah, let's get that bait in the water and try and catch a cop for you guys Nearly lost my GoPro and I fell out of my hands in the water. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys can hear me because the GoPro is big. My will be wet now. But um, yeah, first life fade is out. Three one. Really nice gutter with a really nice working bank at the back. So hopefully there's a, a cob with our name on it. Lucky man. Sure. Lucky to be out here in Strays by again. Let's catch some fish, man! The lifeboat has been really quiet. Uh, the fish has been quiet in general. I haven't seen anyone catch a fish. There's a couple of guys fishing to our right hand side. Uh, they're fishing with lifeboats for cod as well. They haven't had a bite. Uh, Pierre and Chris haven't had a bite. And like I said, a life mullet is due that I that I am out has been quiet 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 nothing happening on it i'm just gonna um, almost thought i had a bite there but not what's going on there no it's nothing i'm just gonna keep my eye on it but, um, yeah so i'm just gonna prepare a little chocolate bait Chance of catching a fish. Uh, two life boats out and a uh, nice choco cold bait. I'm not going to show you this bait presentation to you guys or exactly how I do it. It's the same, it's the same bait that um, I have done a presentation in the past. So if you're keen to check it out, it's in the playlist how to everything cop, everything by the way. Bait is in there, so you guys can go and check it out. You can see exactly what I'm doing and how I'm making this bait. Um, no, just a little chocolate bait on a legal dangle. 7 0 BKK. In line, if I can find my latex cotton and finish my bait. There we are. I'm not too worried about fishing too much today because um, the swell is still, still slightly up and um, no, that's why I thought okay we'll fish for a cob. Tomorrow I reckon it's 
going to be some big fish in the water. It has to be. The water temperature came. The water temperature cooled down quite a lot. And at first day of waste tomorrow, the sea is going to go flat and it's going to have a lot of color. I'm, I'm sure it's going to have a lot of color. It's going to be like a ginger beer brown and um, gold. So, I'm sure there's going to be some, some big things willing to take our boat. I'd like to catch a big black ray tomorrow. And maybe a diamond or two. As well as a an aggie. No, an aggie too short. But on the menu for tomorrow, big black ray. So that's my main target tomorrow. Yeah, we late, but this shit's fantastic For the ages, feels like it's magic Hear the clock been haunting my dreams It's been ticking for hours, ticking yeah. for hours Yeah, I feel so old Gonna waste no time, gotta wait in line And the weather's so cold Should've brought my coat at the end of the line All my shit untold Messed up a lot, used to be waiting for something Or someone to give me my spot God only show you the way, it's all up to the plan And the paper and people yeah. you buy Learn what I thought, I hope that they notice And give us a shot, I swear I don't know what's going on here. Look at that beautiful water behind me. Look at that. Great crop water. Nice working, rolling water. Short wave period. Everything is perfect. No bite. So, what are we gonna pack up? Have a lunch, have something to snack on. Maybe have a beer. Chill a little bit. And then make a little throw later later um, today. Maybe into the evening or whatever. But um, no, nothing. Uh, yeah. A little disappointing, but yeah, what can anyone do besides try? So let's wake up and make a move for it. And um, we'll see you guys a little bit later. Good morning, guys. So we decided to call it a day yesterday because um, nothing was going on. Um, there were, I saw about 15 guys fishing and I didn't see a single fish so we decided to head back home light the fire have a couple of beers and just chill a little bit I threw a nice rib on the fire and um, yeah, I just chilled and um, yeah, today the water looks really lacquer um, that west came through it's not blowing really hard it's just a light breeze at the moment but um, water's got some color and um, I'm excited to get a bait in the water because I reckon there's going to be a big black away or two so I'm definitely going to throw for one now and um, yeah, like I said I would love to catch a big black away on this trip and I think today is the day if I wanted to target one today would be today would be the day so First throw, big sort of sort of head. This thing is already a little bit defrosted. Um, as I left it in my bait box overnight, it's still cold, but um, that's what I want. I want uh, all that juices to come out and a big black ray to pick up that scent quite easy. So, but yeah, let's get that bait in the water. Ooh. go 10 10o monster circle from BKK full metal wire 175 pound that's only for the tail thrashing not to be um, thrashed off on on the piece of mono um, so it's a little bit of protection there's a little bit of rocks I'm fishing 80 pound braid 80 pound grinder drop zone and then my horizon Double XH 
Um, should have actually taken the triple XH, but the double XH is more than capable of doing what we want to do now. We're gonna throw a nice, mushy, bloody bait and um, hopefully get eaten. Ah, let's do it. Sure, this this is a great find, guys. Look at this. Uh, let's not break it. That's a Nautilus shell. Sure. Beautiful. Paper thin. It's like a cuttlefish that lives in it. And I can't believe that it washed over all these rocks and it's still in a good, great condition like this. Lacky man. I'm going to keep this one. Beautiful. Look at that. Let's hope that is it. So I had like one throw and my bait was in for like 10 minutes. And then Shoal Murray, uh, he's a Pratia angler, um, came to say hello. And he told me that the water on the surf uh, has got a nice brown, nice brown color to it. And it looks really nice. And, um, yeah, so I think I'm gonna hit the surf, fish for a ragged tooth shark, a black ray, maybe a diamond or two, um, before that color in the water washes out. So yeah, I quickly reeled in, packed up my stuff, and we're off to the beach. So yeah, driving around more than fishing, but we wanna find the fish, so let's go. Well, there's Stefan and Nikki, and this water is chocolate brown. Whew. Yeah, that looks like it. it. Must be a bite, yeah. Yes. Okay. Goes on to waste. Let's make a bite. Get it in the water. Hopefully catch a fish. Finally a pull. Feels like a ragged to shark. Oh there it's on the water. Be water, bring my camera. There we go. Finally on. Jeez. Guys, we've been battling to get bikes. This water looks so beautiful. And um, yeah, it's been really tough getting a couple of bites. And Stefan and I were just talking. And how is it possible that it can be so quiet? And uh, <laughs> there I just saw my rod going in the rod spike. And um, on to what I suspect is a ragged tooth shark. What's a lane for me? What the hell? Oh, we also be water, is it a raggy? What the hell do you have? I think it is a raggy. I think it is a raggy. Oh, I don't know, this is not, a, I don't think this is a regular shot. shark. Really? Betty. Any 
Ja, ja, noch ein bisschen. Ich kann mal Ich kann ein bisschen Ja, du, ich bin nicht gekommen. Du, du, du. Was ist da? Du, du, du. So, weiter. Ja, guys, we saw it on the surface. And um, it was jumping and thrashing and going ballistic. So, uh, it was a white shark. Uh, it wasn't a, a negative shark. And I, I thought I was going to lose it because it was just going too crazy. But, uh, yeah, better that way. But, um, yeah, at least there was a bite. Let's see if there's not a, a reggae on the next try. Yes guys, this wind is blowing, so I hope you guys can hear me, but anyway, it seems like Stefan has a bite, he's walking over to him, and it seems like the fish left him, looks like a raggy bite, let's go closer and see what happens. Searching for that good angle. Still searching for the good angle. Can't find it. Yeah, maybe a walk for nothing. Fish left it. Oh guys, I don't know what's going on, eh? The great conditions and no fish. <sighs> but it will persist. Well, hopefully there's something willing to eat our bait. But I've never seen this place this day. Never ever have I seen it this day. Especially in conditions like this. Alright guys, so we went back to have a pizza. And uh, nothing happened. I got one small raggy puff that I even didn't, didn't even pull. Caught it on an 11 foot Army Cop special. My spinning setup. It's playing around in the shallow waters to yeah, catching some lessers just to get the time passed and then I caught a raggy pup but um, yeah, like I said the fishing has been really tough I don't know the conditions are really good anyway I'm back here to make another throw Stefan and Nikki uh, is at home they're busy cleaning their stuff but they might come down and say hello later and Chris is chilling at home and I thought well I need to catch a fish so I'm gonna take another chance I don't know what's up guys, but anyway, do my best to catch a fish for you guys, hopefully it will happen with sunset and there's something feeding in the dark, so well, guys, I don't know, it's fishing, it's, not, it's fishing, no, it's not cold catching, anyway, get a bite in. There we go, that's better. On, yes, please. there we go. Well, it doesn't feel like it's the biggest fish and uh, just gonna move the camera here yeah? because uh, I'm all alone um, like I said there's no one with me so I don't think it's a big fish Hey guys, I'm gonna try and film this whole thing for you on my own. But um, doesn't feel like it's a big fish. But um, at least there's a bite. Oh, that feels better. That's it. Come on, man. I'm gonna have to land this all on my own. Yeah, like a stunning evening. Ah. There's ones to go.
guys, it's been a really long day to get a bite. And um, I don't know what is up with the fish and why it's so quiet. But um, yeah, I think they've been fishing for 13 hours to get a bite. And I'm not too sure if this is a reggae at the moment. It might be a, a diamond ray. Um, I don't feel head shake. Let's see if I can get this camera closer. <laughs> ah, fishing and filming, fishing and filming on my own. Okay. okay. I think it's a diamond. Yeah, it's a diamond. I just saw it now. Diamond Ray coming up. Where were they the whole day? They should have been thick. There you go guys, a diamond ray, I reckon about 30, 35 kilos, and uh, I just want to uh, bring him this side and slap my camera over. There we go. There we go. Oh, guys, it's not easy filming. <laughs> It's on my own, fishing on my own. The um, cameras are falling over. And yeah, no one to grab fish for me. I'm to hold my rod. Okay, just want to put my rod down there. Yeah, it's a lot easier when, when you're fishing with someone. Uh. Okay, there we go. At least we got a fish, like a diamond. I think I'm gonna make one or two more throws. See if there's not any more fish. I'm willing to eat our baits, but um, yeah, it's stunning. Yeah, but yeah, it's lekker. At least we got a bite. Like I said, it took about 13 hours to get that bite. But anyway, we got it eventually. Hopefully there's more. And um, yeah, the wind. It's still blowing, but it seems like it's dying down. But anyway, let's get a bait in. Try and catch another fish. Oh, had another bite now. But, um, a big shad head this time. Come on. Tickle. Uh, yeah. Got him. Kabais, you're my um, lucky charm. <laughs> uh. 
かかるでしょいやね、レースの時あ、ガイザーズ、シャイデッド、イッツナー and it feels like a ラゲトゥーフ Oh, I'm 99% convinced it is a ragged tooth and doesn't feel like a bad fish. It's quite aggressive and it's cold water, so I'm just taking it easy on the fish until it settles and then we can start pulling on it. But I、um, don't want to be over eager in this cold water with it. Look, it feels like a good fish. Zal ik nou rechter gebijt krijgen? Jij hier is. Waarom ga je zo mooi maken? Zal jij? Ja, dat is een beetje zwaar. Dat is een angle of iets kan krijgen. Wel, Kabous kan je zeggen hallo. Kabous is een well-known Britia lady angler. Um, one of the top ranked lady anglers in South Africa. And, um, ooh, Kabos, this thing is angry. And she came to say hello. And,、um, yeah. And we were talking nonsense here for a couple of minutes. And I said, hold on, here's a bite. So, yeah, get tight. Did you feel like I'm racing? Yes. So, guys, there's Kabos. Hi. Thank <laughs> <laughs> you, Kabos. Nice to see you. <laughs> Well, I actually have Lindsay to thank for this bite as well because I was sitting at my bite box and she said, I asked her, Why do you think I should try? Because I don't want to miss out on the raggy and I don't want to miss out on, on the diamond. And she said, Don't you have a, a shad head? And I said, Yes, I do. I said, Thank you for reminding me. And、um, yeah, it worked. So, thank, so thanks, Lindsay. Is your shad head working? We just need to land it. Ooh, oh, 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 Ik denk dat ik net een beetje nader kom en dan een beetje eruit kan komen. Wij zien het te ver. Coming nicely now. So you'll be really close to the bank. But that bank is really shallow. And there's no waves to help me push it over. So I'm going to need to drag it all the way in a safe spot. Coming so easy now, I think it's shrunk. Not all there. Ik ben teleurgesteld in die size. Ik zal hem vatten. 
Okay, there we go, guys. A young raggy. I'm actually disappointed in the size of the fish. I thought it was a much bigger fish. But, um, can't complain at this stage of the game. You can see that circle look perfectly in the corner. I should actually use my hook remover to take the hook out, but yeah, we're just gonna use our hands. And this is why they call them raggedy sharks. And in Afrikaans, it's called skirtand eye. And they call them in other places a sand tiger shark. And uh, South Africa, we call them raggedy sharks. And uh, she is tagged. I'm just saying that she, yeah, it is a young female. She is tagged. I think I'm gonna remove this tag. The tag looks a bit. Yeah. I'll just remove the tag because uh, she has a little bit of a wind there and it's not gonna heal because the tag is still in her. But we're gonna send this tag into Ori. I'm gonna take a measurement of the shark and then we can get some information on how she traveled and um, how much she has grown since the last since the first guy um since the first time she was caught so yeah there we go i reckon she's about right 55 kilos what do you reckon the most uh, 50 55 to 60 whatever but, um, yeah. Yeah. let's get it back Yeah. Okay guys, see how I grab the raggy on the tip of the tail and um, if there's no water don't pull the shark just wait for the while for the water otherwise you're pulling on the weight of the fish and you don't want to do that that's not good for their spines so wait for the water and pull them in the water I had it grab you put your other hand on the bottom of the tail and then pull her. And once she's deep enough you can swing it around nose first and then she'll swim more strong. Okay, there she goes. Well done. Thanks, Kabas. Well done. Appreciate it. <laughs> oh, it's not now. Let us know if you get trapped. Yeah. Okay. That's Kabas. <laughs> she was. She was a. Uh, the timing was really good. Sorry, guys. I'm gonna switch my lights off. Yeah. Timing was really good. So I had a camera man, camera lady, <laughs> <laughs> to help me out in this. But guys, I've been fishing for about 14 hours a day, so I think I'm going to end off this video. I don't think it's time for a beer, or 7 or 8, and the rum. Rum is done. It's not over till the rum is done. And um, yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Please like the video, appreciate it. Please subscribe. See you guys in the next one. <laughs> <laughs>